Since the beginning of time, humans dreamed to fly. They used to look at the birds spreading their wings out and wished they too had wings. But do you know who was the first one to make that dream come true and actually fly? Most people think the Wright brothers were the first ones to fly, but someone flew about 1,000 years before them. And that great man was Abbas bin Firnas. He was a Muslim man who lived in Emirate of Cordoba. In present day, the place is at Ronda, Spain. Abbas bin Firnas was mainly an astronomer, engineer, physician, chemist, musician, Arabic poet, and inventor. He did a lot of things, so still today, he is known for his great works and invention. Abbas bin Firnas dreamed of what people called the impossible, and that was to fly. He thought if birds could fly, why couldn't he? So he started studying the birds. People thought that he was crazy, but he didn't care. He just kept on going. In the year 852, Abbas bin Firnas tried flying. So he made what was kind of like a parachute with a thick piece of cloth and made it stable with pieces of wood. He jumped off the great mosque of Cordoba in Spain, hoping that his invention would work. Unfortunately, it did not work at all, but he did not get hurt that badly thanks to Allah. But Abbas bin Farnas did not quit. He continued to study the birds. After some time, he realized that birds could fly because of the shape of their wings. The wings were round and thick at the top, and it was thinner at the end. Abbas bin Farnas started building his wings once again. He tied bamboo with silk strips and covered it with eagle feathers. After he was done, he tried flying again. By that time, he was 70 years old and it was around the year 880 CE. Historians say that Abbas bin Farnas went on top of a building or on top of a big hill. Either way, he stood up on something high. People gathered around scared of what the old man was doing. What if he got hurt, they thought? What if he died? Abbas bin Farnas told the crowd that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted, he would fly by moving his wings up and down. If everything went well, he would come back safely after flying through the sky. He jumped down, flapping his wings up and down, and people gasped. They were so surprised. Abbas bin Farnas made the impossible come true, and he was flying. He flew through the sky like the birds. He made history. He became the first man ever to fly. Now, after flying for some time, he decided to get back on the ground. He couldn't control his landing and crashed. Unfortunately, from the accident, he had back problems for the rest of his life. He later found out that he couldn't control his landing because he didn't have a tail like a bird. The tail helps the bird control when they land. He became very old when he discovered the tail issue. So he decided that he would let someone else in the future complete what he couldn't finish. But the world will always remember Abbas bin Farnas for being the Muslim hero who showed us that nothing is impossible no matter what others say so next time when you see an airplane be proud that our Muslim brother is the reason that that airplane is flying in the sky may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward Abbas bin Farnas for his great invention 
and give him the highest place in Jannah. Amen. Also, please let us know how you feel about our Muslim Hero series. If you have any other ideas or other heroes, please let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos with all of your friends and family. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.